So it occurs to me that I talk about drip campaigns all the time for real estate to help you sell more, but you may not really know what a drip campaign should and can do for you. So let's talk about it in this video. Let's do it. This is pretty standard. I show this to everybody every time I do this. So you have sales statistics. You need to stay in front of your people. You just flat out do, because you can see that without it, you've got different ways to communicate. You got text, you got phone, you got email, you know, you got voicemail drops, you got, believe it or not, social media, your posts on social media count too. So you got to stay in front of them, right? So it's so important. And without your drip campaign, it's impossible, just impossible. So we are on step four now, your long-term engagement drip campaigns. So before we do anything, we just have to go back and remind you, if you are somebody who doesn't have a CRM yet, you need to have one because this isn't going to work without it. Can you go and get emailing service? Yes, you can, but you're, you're not going to have all of the stuff in one place. You're going to want to manage and track all your business and emailing services don't allow you to really do what you need to do. So you want to be able to track your, you know, deals and all that stuff. And, and some of those emailing services don't also provide your ability to send text. So you want to make sure you have that. So you need a CRM first things first. So what exactly is a drip campaign? So it's automatic sets of emails, texts, and any kind of reminders that can go out based on specific timelines that you choose, right? The beauty of them is that it all happens automatically once it's triggered. So how does it get triggered? Well, you need to understand how it gets triggered in your CRM. Everybody's CRM is different. I know in KV Core, I think it's based on hashtagging. So you need to put a hashtag in. Then you got to tell the system, when I get a lead that has that hashtag, turn on, make sure the campaign runs. So you've got that. In our system, it's set up at the time the lead comes in, it dumps straight in. We just say, that lead from that source go to this drip campaign and we and we zap it in so it just depends on what it is unless it's one of our landing pages which automatically we just go in and say turn on this campaign when we're setting it up it's that easy right so but you have to know what that is using merge field codes inside of these drip campaigns will help you to create templates so that you'll be able to pull in that contact information and those are those codes i was showing in the email That'll pull in the first name. It's pulling from the contact card. So it's tracking, it's pulling it in automatically. So you'd never put anybody's personal information in these templates because it's personal to that person. You want it to work for everybody. And then drip marketing is all about giving people the right information at the right time. And I'm going to talk about what that looks like. So as I was saying earlier, you want to have uh, listing stuff set out for every single one of your lead sources and ads and stuff, right? So it's the same thing with your long-term campaigns. And your long-term campaign should be at least a year long. But every time you have a source, an ad, an offer, a squeeze page, every single one of those needs its own campaign. And you're probably thinking, oh my God, I want to kill myself if I got to create all this. Well, the, what I suggest you do is just create a couple of really good strong ones and then you can edit those. Usually in the system, you can make copies of them and edit them and make them more specific to each offer. But there, you know, there's work involved. But once it's set up and you do it before the ad starts to run, then you don't have this, oh my God, I got to stop my ads because I don't have anybody, anything going out. So you get it set up and make sure that you have it. 